Hi, I'm Ken Berman, and I'm the Rao Professor of Computer Science at Cornell University. And I wanted to take a few minutes to talk today about some of the challenges of high assurance cloud computing and what we're doing here at Cornell to try to solve the problems in that area. Cloud computing, as you probably know, has swept the web. It's the way the big data centers that support this YouTube video, for example, our mobile phones and email and web search. It's the way that those things work. And it's an incredibly ecologically clean and green and cost-effective way to compute. But cloud computing has not been a good infrastructure for high assurance computing. What I mean by high assurance would be, for example, computing systems that might monitor medical patients and recommend or even take actions that relate to their treatment. We're controlling the power grid. The future smart grid is going to need to be monitored at a huge number of places, operated and controlled from a central control system. And that control system, in a natural sense, would fit well with the cloud model, but needs high assurance. And similarly, for financial computing, various military applications, transportation grids around our big cities, for all of these purposes, we need a new kind of cloud computing, one that supports much stronger assurance guarantees. And that's what I've been interested in creating here at Cornell University. My group has done a, quite a bit in this area. We work on the theory, and we have a number of papers published on the theory of high assurance distributed computing. You can download them from our website. And we also build systems that implement the, what we consider to be our best ideas. The one you can download right now would be called ISIS-2, and you'll find it right here on my website. In fact, there are additional videos explaining how it works. The basic idea is to use replication within the cloud to overcome failures that turn out to trigger the kinds of inconsistencies that are most visible in today's cloud platforms. And in fact, interestingly, we can do replication with strong consistency and security guarantees at performance levels fully competitive with what you can get in modern platforms if you were to use the standard tools, which don't give you these strong assurance guarantees. We have all sorts of activities in this area. We're working on real applications. In fact, the smart power grid that I mentioned is one of them. We're working with industry to try to apply these ideas in tough settings. For example, we have a project underway with a group at Cisco to look at how to enhance internet routers to make them highly assured and robust under all sorts of stresses that they're now encountering because cloud computing systems have put the internet itself under new kinds of stress. And over the years, we've worked with all sorts of cutting edge, high assurance applications. My software, and I really mean mine because I built this software, uh, ran uh, the New York Stock Exchange for more than a decade. And during that period, it automated the handling of failures so that the trading floor remained operational and active without a glitch, even when components crashed, wires broke, and other kinds of problems arose in the software and hardware systems that operate that trading floor. It became self-healing, and we built the technology that made that possible. The same technology is used today in the European air traffic control system, where the French Air Traffic Control Authority took our software from here at Cornell, a company we had spun off at the time, and worked with us to solve their hard problems and end up with a solution that guarantees air traffic controllers in Europe continuous availability and guarantees consistency and coordination and security, even when that system comes under considerable stress. And it might when failures occur or when there's a lot of traffic, but our virtual synchrony model keeps things from getting tangled up, and our software implements that model and was easy to use, as I think ISIS-2 is today. Um, and we have other such examples, many of them. So do consider downloading our software. And if you're a graduate student or an undergraduate interested in a great environment for studying and doing research, Cornell is the place to consider coming. I don't think that there's any group in the world that is doing better work than my group is doing in this area. Here, when I say my group, I really mean my colleagues and my, my students as well. And I, I think this is just a tremendously exciting time to be in the field, and it's an exciting place to do this type of work. Cornell is an environment that has always encouraged people to think deeply. That's why we've gotten a reputation for being one of the best in this area. And I think it's why we're able to tackle problems from a perspective that's different from what you see 
at the universities that are focused on the issue of the moment, how to get something deployed real fast and spin a company off and make a lot of money. Well, you don't see as much of that up here in Ithaca, but we do solve the deep problems and we turn our solutions into software that you can use. So whether you're looking for a PhD program, looking for a place to get an MEng degree, I'm in charge of the MEng program, by the way, or even an undergraduate who would like to study in a place where you can also get involved in research, Cornell is a great environment. It's a great environment for collaborations too. Here at the university, many of us collaborate with one another. Many of my students have several advisors and that's a structure you can't always find elsewhere. And that lets them work on problems that aren't quite in the normal box. And I think that that's sometimes the most exciting place to be. And we also are very open to collaborations with industry. I mentioned Cisco, but over the years we've worked with people at Microsoft, at IBM, at, at almost any major company you could name. We've had real meaningful dialogues that have led to solutions to people's hardest problems, and we've watched the solutions turn into solutions that are successful in a commercial sense as well. So Cornell is a great environment, and where I want to leave this video is with the thought that we would be more than happy to work with you if you've got the kinds of challenging problems that seem to fall into this space. High assurance cloud computing is going to be a reality soon and we want to make that happen. And we'd be very happy to work with you if you're faced with those kinds of challenging problems yourself. Thank you.